So there's a few more trades to talk about uh, this week. So a little bit of action coming through, some nice opportunities, and a couple of trades called in uh, the workshops last week as well for TrendSignal users also. So we're going to look through a bit of a mix today. And starting off with the NASDAQ, uh, this is really the only uh, index that gave a valid trade as far as TrendSignal strategies are concerned. Uh, but we had a great short there last Wednesday, 4th of March. 4444, four, 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 all the fours, uh, getting our short on there, and a really nice move. You can see us down about sort of 50 big points or 500 points uh, is uh, spread betting terms there. So a really nice move there on the NAS and a significant profit. The entry there, as those indicators turned from green to red, see here from green to red on the close of this candlestick here, and green to red at the bottom, and that yellow disc with the red outline. There's three indicators there giving us that classic sniper trade that we're so familiar with in these trades of the day and trades of the week videos. Uh, there is more to TrendSignal than just that, so we're going to talk about a couple of other trades in a second, but a really nice trade to start this uh, trades of the week video off with. Uh, UK oil has moved on nicely today. We've been stuck in this trade for a little while and actually getting on to this trade back here on the 23rd of February, we've actually moved now about 120 points on side. It took a while for this trade to develop moving against us for quite a while but now having another leg down and giving us uh, another bit of profit on UK oil as well so two uh, nice sniper trades there Sterling Aussie also hit target uh, last week, uh, moving through quite aggressively into the middle latter part of uh, last week there. That original short back from the 20th of February, 196.06 there. Targeting, because this is against the trend, just 100 points on this one as well. So that would be a target of down to uh, 195.06 as the target. And we can see us hitting target there last Wednesday, uh, so the 4th of March there, notching a little bit of profit there. Yes, the market it overshot a little bit but as you can see it didn't like it down there and that uptrend is being resumed so far on sterling aussie as we can see the markets moving them back higher again but notwithstanding any of that we managed to get in take our profits get out um, before the market then started to turn back up again so again a really lovely trade on sterling aussie and a great example of what we call set and forget put your stop loss in put your target in and leave the trade alone trying to remove those emotions from your trades your emotions don't help you how you feel about the trade isn't going to make a difference to the outcome unless you start to tinker around with it move your stop a little bit move your target play around with it get out of the trade just because it makes you feel better these things will not help you what did help however was set and forget St stop in target in leave the trade alone we then hit our target zone and we're very very happy with that another example of a very slow trade to move that hit target last week uh, was silver now this original trade on silver was back here from the 29th of january believe it or not so in that trade for best part of six weeks it's actually moved down to its full extent now so we've done a 121 points is a big move there a lot of traders new to trend signal to getting their profit at 100 points. Either way, that short there from 1692, that target down to 1592, hitting that target zone here on Friday of last week, and another 100 points chalked up. We had to be patient on this one, but that profit was hit. So here we are looking at four sniper trades over the last uh, the hit target last week. That's four trades at least 100 points there on all of them and that's giving you at least 400 points there and remember if you're going to be doing that at say 10 pounds a point that's four thousand pounds profit just from those four trades alone there's a little bit more to this than just sniper trades at trending although and last week in the workshops we called another couple of opportunities as well it was last monday i think it was when we talked about a potential short brewing up on aussie dollar it's what we call a continuation trade i'm not going to get into the details now but we had a short there on monday night i called it a monday morning in the workshop to look out for the confirmation that night 10 o'clock 77.65 was the entry point and from here, you can now see live prices, 76.27. So we're about 140 points lower. And TrendSignal users already out taking profits on this really nice continuation trade there. And then finally, sterling US dollar 
equally giving us that short there last Monday. Again, notified uh, Trendsend users in the workshop ahead of time. So they knew to look at the markets that night. 153.63 was the entry. What's the price now? 150.56. So we've fallen just over 300 points now from that entry. A really nice move, a great profit. And this is what we call a swing trade there. So a little sort of look through the keyhole on three different strategies that we employ here at Trend Signal. Obviously, the sniper trades are the most eye catching, the most visual strategies that you can get going with straight away, but plenty more action in town as well. So five or six. Six lovely trades there. Six trades, minimum 600 points, a £10 a point, that's six grand potentially, and a really nice way to start uh, the month of March. Um, there you go. Have a good week. If you would like more information about trading the right way, Trend Signal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the Trend Signal website for the latest events and to book your free place.